Today I'm here for some stocking inspiration and I have ideas for everyone. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another Vlogmas video, you guys. Today is Vlogmas day number 23, which means Christmas is just a little over a day away. So I am super excited, and I am here today to show you some stocking stuffer ideas for a wide variety of people and ages. I don't know about you guys, traditions are different in everybody's home, but tradition for my mom and I when I used to live on Long Island or if I went home for Christmas, we would always save stocking stuffer shopping for last. If we saw anything along the way, a gift card, a set of headphones, a piece of jewelry like a ring or a pair of earrings, we would put that off to the side to put into the stockings. But the actual like candy, the little toothbrushes, all that stuff, we always waited for like the last day or two before and my mom and I would all go out, my mom, my dad and I, whoever, especially as I got older, and we would go and get everything that we needed for the stockings. So that would be like today but I had to make sure that I got everything so that I can show you guys what I got. So I shopped for this stuff ahead of time, but hopefully if you guys are looking for some last minute stocking inspiration or gift ideas, that hopefully I can help you. So if you're new to my channel, I have three kids. I have a three and a half year old Maya who's like going on 25, we all say that about our kids though, right? And then my middle son, Mason, who is six, and then my oldest son, Jacob, who is 15 and a half. But I'm also gonna show you what I got my husband and my dogs, so lots of stocking stuffers to be had. Let's dive right in. I think I'm gonna go in age order up this way. If I get caught and somebody comes down here, hopefully I've done the important people first. My daughter has been on the snooping hunt and my older boys never did that. Jake, never, ever, almost 16, never looked for presents. Mason told me, I like surprises, why would I look? Maya, she's like creeping in my room, like looking through bags. She's a tough one. She is gonna be the one who gives me a run for my money. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got her. I've actually been collecting for quite some time. I have some figures in here that I showed you guys in a Dollar Tree haul, like not even the last one I did in the South Carolina house, like the second to last one. So this is stuff that I bought like in June and July, but I do that purposely and put stuff away so that when Christmas time comes, I pull out this bin and I'm like, oh, look at all the stuff that I have. So this I actually just picked up yesterday from the Dollar Tree. It's lip balm, it looks like an EOS, and it says it's a strawberry shake. Maya has been all about like lip gloss and makeup and stuff. And so I also got this from the DT, just Lifesaver gummies. There's a wide variety of like candy and toys and stuff. And I didn't do like toothbrushes and toothpaste and stuff that year. This year because we just got our pod and I am like a couponing stock hoarder. So I have like toothpaste and toothbrushes like in a stack right here. Had we had had our pod, we would have gone through a lot of that stuff over the six months and I would have replaced a lot of it. But now that we just kind of got our stuff, um, we have an abundance. So I really didn't focus on that kind of thing, which is cool because I just kind of did fun things. So staying on to the Dollar Tree, uh, I found a fairly, maybe my first trip here to Texas, I found these little eye glow, like three nail polishes. So I got a bunch to put away for her. I mean, we're gonna have to monitor this because this girl can get a little crazy with the nail polish, but this is the blue, pink, and yellow. And then this I think I'm gonna give her tonight so that we can polish her nails tomorrow or we'll do this first thing after stocking. So it's very Christmassy, like a red, green, and glitter. And then this one is all different shades of purple, which I know she's going to love. I'm definitely gonna to have to put those like in a bag or something because the second you leave her alone, she's like painting the walls with nail polish. 
I found this on Black Friday at Target and it's just a little frozen to like a lip smackers thing and then inside is some little nail polishes and I think those are nail like sticker decals and I like that it comes like in the little tin can holding case. Hopefully that will deter her from getting into it without me because it's a little difficult to open. And then this is some of the things, you guys, that I got from the Dollar Tree like a wicked long time ago. Do you guys remember me showing you these little figures? So I have Woody and Buzz and Rex, and these are all Toy Story 4 little figures that the Dollar Tree had, but Maya saw these then, even then, and she took them off the floor because I was filming it. She came in, she took it off the floor, and she carried it around the house in those little boxes all day. And when she fell asleep, I took them back from her and I stuck them back in my room and locked them away. But I know she's going to be so excited to see those. Like at least there'll be some surprises this Christmas because she I'm sure forgot about those and she's going to be super excited. So if you guys saw my what I got my kids for Christmas video, I mentioned that my kids are addicted to Ryan's World. And so I found a two pack of Ryan's World water bottles on Amazon. So Mason got one too. And I think the kids are going to be excited. It has a nice flip up cap. It's the Zach brand, which I love that brand, but the cap opens with ease and it's a straw cup. And I think my kids are going to love that. So I got her that. And then this was something I found the Dollar Tree, a little mini bow. I'm sure she's going to love that. My girl is such a girly girl. Like she loves her bows, her all of that. Um, this I'm not exactly sure where I picked this up from, but it's just an Elsa keychain. I'm going to have her hang that off of her backpack or maybe like on her lunchbox to make it easier for her to open the zipper, like a pull kind of thing. And then this I got from Target, a little Legos Disney kit. She'll do that with her brother over vacation. And then a couple of pieces of candy. I don't usually do a whole bunch of candy, so besides the gummies, this is what else I got. So I got a big thing of Kinder Eggs. I just broke it up and gave her one. She has the Gingerbread Girl. And then she has a little Santa hat, like Hershey's Kiss. One Reese's Tree. I bought like a six pack and broke it up between everybody. And then she has a thing of Reese's Pieces and mini M&M's. She calls them m and and she loves her some m and So got those for her. And then almost done. I got her in that same Dollar Tree video with those uh, Toy Story figures. I had also picked her up these cool low wands. And I'm so glad I did because I've never seen them again. Which is exactly what I knew was going to happen. And so these are like little unicorn glow bracelets. And then this is a unicorn glowing crown. And then this is just a unicorn glow wand. But I knew I was never going to see these again. And that's why I picked them up for Christmas like over the summertime. And it's just like a regular glow stick. So it's only going to last for the day. But it was just something fun for her to have. I knew she would love them. And like I said, I knew I would never see them again. Uh, I picked this up from Target. It's a little pink fung baby shark. I didn't pull the tab yet, lucky for you guys, but it does say baby shark, and I know she is going to like that. Speaking of pink fung and baby shark, Maya is all about that. So I got her this pink fung baby shark body lotion. It was $1 in the dollar spot. And then, oh, another piece of candy. I broke apart a box of Oreo eggs, so I gave her that. And then, and here is a gift card to the movies. We're all gonna go to the movies over Christmas break. So everybody got a gift card. And then, you guys, look how old these are. I have to be saving these eight months, maybe. But, and I don't even know if I'm gonna give them to her now because we're not really setting up her room like that. But I thought she could use these as bookends in her room. So this is the Mermaid Tales. Like these are just like little figurines that the Dollar Tree had, but they're pretty big. They're probably like, I don't know, four or five inches tall. So I just thought the pearlized one, they're both kind of pearlized. One's white, one's pink. I thought, let me see if I can get the camera to focus on the colors a little bit better. There you go. I thought that I would just put those like 
I don't know, kind of bookends at the end of her dresser with some of her like little decor in there. But that is it. And I'm gonna go wrap all of her stuff back up and tie it up in this bag in case she comes down here. And then we're moving on to Mason. So for some reason, when I was bagging all this stuff up, I feel like Mason's is a little light. Uh, obviously Maya's was a lot of stuff, but it was all little like Dollar Tree kind of figurines and lip glosses and nail polishes. Easier things to buy for a girl. But Mason, it was a little bit more difficult and challenging to find like things for a six year old. But I think I did okay. So I got him a Nerf gun for Christmas. So I picked him up some more Nerf gun bullets. Obviously, I thought that would be key for anybody with a Nerf gun needs some extra bullets. And that's like a nice like filling thing for the stocking. And then I found this at Target. These are little wall tumblers. Like I think these things are so, so cute. Uh, I don't know who the other guy is. I think somebody wrote me when I showed this in my Target haul and said this was Darkwing or something, but I'm not really into DC Comics, so I'm not sure. But basically you throw these little rubbery guys against the wall and then they will like tumble down. And they were three bucks. I think he's gonna get a laughing kick out of those. To be honest, the stickiness and stuff probably won't last that long, but he'll get a kick out of it for the moment. He also got a little Lego Disney mini figure to build. And then he got this little train holder filled with Legos from the Dollar Tree, but he loves Legos, so he's going to be excited about that. And then here is his Ryan's World mug. Um, little water bottle thing. I love the cap. Like, it's such a they perfect cap. And it has Ryan on it, combo panda, gummy gator, I don't know, Ryan, some other weird thing. I'm not sure. My kids kill me with this guy. Um, and then he got a gummies. Mason loves a marshmallow and like whipped cream and all of that. So I got him these Russell Stover's marshmallow and caramel. I don't know, something different. I'm not sure if he'll like it, but it was at the Dollar Tree. And so I grabbed that for him. And then he has his Reese's egg. He has his Reese's Pieces candy cane. He has his M&M's. He has this little SpongeBob figure, but out of everybody on the back, that's all he really would have cared about. So I got that for him. Then I found a Ryan's World lip balm at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed that for him for his stocking. And then here's his little Santa hat, Hershey Kiss. Here's his Oreo egg his Kinder Joy egg and his has Santa on it. His gift card to the movies. And then he is getting one of these little FGTV squishies. This is like another YouTuber. It's a dad and his son and they play video games all day and they tape it and they get paid millions, which is awesome. Um, so I got him one of those, but that's it for Mason. I feel like his was really light i kind of struggled with some ideas for him so if you guys have a six-year-old and you have other ideas that i didn't have make sure to comment and leave them below so that if i have time i will run out and go and grab something or at least i know for future reference like you know next year or something it shouldn't be that much different between six and seven maybe those ideas will help or you could also help somebody else in the comments who is reading them. So I'm gonna bag this up now and then on to Jacob. So I feel like Jake has a lot in his stocking too, but a lot of his gifts are in here. Like uh, you'll see, I got him a phone charger. He got a piece of jewelry. Um, he got some like pop sockets, those kinds of things that are like hard to and small to wrap to put under the tree. They're more of a stocking stuffer, but they're more like costly stocking stuffers so jake got a lot of like gifts inside of his stocking which is also why his pile wasn't so big and i know that he would understand that like if i wrap all of those dvds i got the kids individually all their presents individually they're going to have a lot to open jacob not so much but i know he's old enough to understand that he got a tv which is the equivalent of like half of what the kids have underneath there but i when he opens his stocking i feel like he'll be relieved you know that there's like more gifts in here so uh, i did get him from the dollar tree these little taco supreme 
flavored Taco Bell uh, sunflower seeds. He absolutely loves these. Ever since he tried them, he's addicted. So I got him that. And then this is actually a nail clipper set. I ordered this online. So if you don't want to buy like a nail clippers from the Dollar Tree or something, and you want to buy like a nicer set, uh, they're expensive. Like I couldn't believe that no matter where I looked, I couldn't find like cheap nail clippers. I guess I've always just bought the ones from the Dollar Tree, but like I want them to have like nice grooming stuff to start off with. But look at these, they're like black graphite almost. And there's a big one for your toenail and then a smaller one for your fingernail and then a file. And it came with like this little leather case. So I think that that's, it's worth it. This was like 10 bucks, but it's worth the 10 bucks. I expected it to be like four or $5 and I was like $10. And that was like the cheapest I can find, but they look like good quality. So I think he's going to be excited. He actually put nail clippers on his Christmas list. You guys like really, uh, here's the little perfect size cake I got for him in the s'mores. I bought him the chips ahoy one and he really liked it. So I got him a s'mores one. I figured s'mores is like Christmassy. Here's his Kinder Joy egg. He's a little too old for that, but it was like a five pack. So I threw one into him. Jake really loves like nerds and like all that kind of candy. So I found these little like nerds, reindeer, crunchy head, strawberry kind of candy thing. Uh, I know that strawberry is not his favorite flavor. So I'm hoping that he'll still like these, but he likes that chewy kind of crunchy candy. So we'll see. Uh, he got his gummies. All three kids got the gummies. And then he got glass screen protectors. My kid is like forever dropping his phone. I've never seen that thing not have a crack in it. So I love these things. They totally saved me from having to replace the screens. This is a three pack and I got this on Amazon. So anything I got on Amazon, like the water bottles, the chargers, you're about to see these are linked in my Amazon store below in case you guys want to order them, check them out. Uh, here is his Reese's Pieces. He got Christmas gummy bears. I found that at the Dollar Tree. And then he got peanut M&Ms because he loves him some peanut M&Ms. And then I got him a pop socket. This was on sale at Kohl's. Uh, I think I paid like seven or eight dollars for it. And it's the good kind of pop sockets that I like. I got my mom one and it wasn't like the rubber in between. It was like a string and not a good thing. So got that. And then in my variety fun box, there was some like kind of jerky. So I got beef sticks for him. And then I got a three pack of iPhone chargers and I just separated it between one for Daryl, uh, one's going in my stocking and one went in Jake's stocking. And then this I got from Kohl's. I thought this was pretty neat. Jake really likes stress balls. And so this is like, it says it's supposed to feel like chewed gum so it said it said it's supposed to be the most like therapeutic of like the squishy kind of stress balls i know that jake's going to like that with his adhd he really likes tangible things that he can like squish inside of his hands like even last night we were talking and he needed to click the remote just to keep something else going so that he can focus on me so that's pretty like important for Jake to have something that keeps his hands moving. It allows him to focus mentally. So I got that for him. And then I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. Like I, I hauled this at my mother's in New York, but this is a cookies and cream old Williamsburg candle. If you guys know anything about Jake, he loves himself some cookies and cream. So I thought this would be a candle to kind of help that man smell in his room because you know, he's a boy. Uh, this I got for Jake last year and he lost it. So I found one online that's similar. Jake really likes the show Friends and I found this bracelet that says, you're my lobster. So basically, if you are a Friends person or you know anything about Friends, that saying comes from because lobsters mate for life. And so if you find your lobster, you find your soulmate. And I've always said that Jake is my soulmate. He's what made me become a mother. Him and I just have the tightest connection, not of all of my kids, but he's my oldest. He's been with me, you know, the longest. And so it's always been a joke that like he's my lobster. And so especially with him being a friend's lover, whoa, geez, 
let me let the camera focus i don't know if you guys can see that but it's like a silver bangle bracelet and it's engraved you're my lobster on that when jake lost this he was devastated and he has asked me a bunch of times already if i found another one for him for christmas and i keep telling him no so he is going to be like super super stoked to see that in there because he said that it's one of the one things he was looking for this christmas because his wrist feels naked without it so uh that means something to me because he pretty much never took it off since last christmas until he lost it and he lost it like right when we first got to texas so um i know he's going to be happy to have that back here's his reese's tree here's his gift card to the movies uh, i feel his oreo egg in here which again he's cookies and cream that's why i bought those ones and then how cool is this i found this at kohl's it's called a bobino and it's a cord wrap so it's just a little holder that allows you to wrap your headphones and stuff around it if you're going to keep your headphones in your pocket in your backpack or something you just wrap it around here and it keeps it you know a little bit tighter and you know not loose and stuff where it gets tangled and broken so i think he's really gonna like that this was on sale you guys i paid 2.99 for this at kohl's so i think that was like a great addition to his stocking and that is it for jacob you guys so now on to my husband I feel like guys are super hard. I would have gotten him cologne. I would have gotten him like deodorant, all of those kinds of things. But again, we had all that stuff packed in the pod. So once we got it, we now have an abundance. So I was trying to find like fun things to put in his stocking. So two of the things I got were rippets. They're probably not going to fit inside of his stocking, but he loves these energy drinks. I get them at the Dollar Tree. It's the only place that we can find them. Some gas stations in South Carolina used to have them, but we haven't seen any gas stations here that have them. But this is just the Power um, Red Energy Fuel ones. Like they're probably not going to fit inside. I'm gonna put them at the bottom. They'll be too heavy, but he'll just be happy to have them. And then I'm pretty sure that these are Valentine's Day out already, you guys, because they're heart-shaped junior mints. I mean, I guess they could be Christmas. Target had these in the Christmas section, but they kind of look a little Valentine's Day-ish to me. I feel like they come out with these during Valentine's Day, but he's by heart. So I got him um, the Heart Junior Mints. He loves anything like chocolate and mint, which is also why I picked him up the little Russell Stouffer's Dark Chocolate and Mint Patties. There's six of them in here, and it's basically like a York Peppermint Patty. So I know he's going to like that. He got two Reese's Trees just because there was an extra amount and he's a bigger guy. So I gave him two of the Reese's Trees. And then I also picked him up a golfing glove. So I found this at Kohl's. It's a left-handed Cowboys golfing glove. So he needed a new glove to golf anyways. And I picked him up a gift card to go with Marissa's husband. I got Marissa's husband one and Dara one to go to um, play uh, 18 holes of golf at the country club. That's like not too far from here. So I think they're going to have a really good time. And so Marissa got like some you know, Dallas Cowboy like golf tees and golf balls and I got him the glove and stuff. So he'll have a bunch of like new gear when he goes golfing. And then he got an Oreo egg as well. I'm not even sure if he's going to like this, but I think he likes cookies and cream. So he should like that. But he really loves a dark chocolate. And I picked these up during Halloween time. So I feel like I only ever see the big sleeves of these during Halloween. And then they don't have them during Christmas. I haven't seen them again since I picked them up. So this one is a six pack of the little Milky Way Midnight. He adores those ones. We're definitely chocolate, dark chocolate lovers in this house. And then that is a Kit Kat dark. Like OMG, he's gonna go crazy for that. And then here is his phone charger. And then I got him this. I'm excited for it. Uh, Daryl just standing on his feet working in the kitchen, like those ki kitchen shoes. They really make his feet super rough. Like you would think his hands being that he's tangible, always cooking and stuff, always has like a chef's knife in his hand or whatever, and that his hands would be calloused and they are, but his feet just from his work shoes. So I found this really neat pumice stone. It's called foot finish. 
and it has these two different sides of it so i don't know can you guys tell that it says that yeah there you go so it has two different sides to it it was by love and Lori, and it's like a dual sided so that you use this rough side first and then you almost use like the soapy fine finishing like lotion polish the reviews on this thing were astronomical about how soft that it gets like calluses for your feet now i use that um oh geez now i can't even think of what it's called california mango i use the california mango and it's mango mend is what it's called and it's meant for like really calloused feet my feet are atrocious right now i never wear shoes or socks my feet are atrocious right now because that california mend was in my pod so i am just about getting into the box with like all of that stuff that i had face masks and all of that and so i need to pull out my mango mend and start working on my feet that stuff works amazing but I don't feel like it would do the job for him. Like his calluses are diesel. I feel like he needed something that was just a little bit more bulky. So this was like $10 maybe on Amazon, which at first I was like, eh, but again, the reviews were amazing. So I hope that he likes this and I haven't picked it up yet, but I'm gonna get him like a gift card to 7-Eleven or something. Sometimes he'll stop and get coffee or a drink or a bag of chips or something like that on his way to work. So I'm just gonna grab him like a gift card for 7-Eleven and shove that in there and I do have scratch offs for everybody that I didn't show you guys that are in my purse that will go in everybody's stocking as well but now we're done with the hubs let's move on to the pups so in this bag I pretty much have two of everything that I'm just going to divide amongst the dog stockings and then two bigger things that I'm going to leave one under each stocking so the first thing I'm going to leave underneath the stocking is these organic naughty and nice dog treats made with organic coconut oil and sunflower seed butter and these came from Trader Joe's and they look so cute in this little tub like bakery cookies almost and so I'm excited to give the dogs these they actually love all the treats from Trader Joe's whenever I see like the fun treats I always stock up on them because the dogs truly love them so it's going to leave one under the under their stocking and then the other thing I was leaving was these twisted candy canes packs so it's 25 of these like rawhide candy canes Someone wrote me on my grocery haul when I showed these and said that rawhide is actually really bad for dogs. What they use to get the rawhide is like really awful for them. So that's actually something I didn't know. So I'm gonna do my research moving forward and just kind of see about that. I'm usually quite particular, uh, not really with their food because my dogs actually eat a lot of home-based food. I don't do exactly what Vanessa does. I know she does like pulled chicken and rice and vegetables, but anything that we make, whether it be chicken, ground beef, anything, I always pull a portion of that aside and make it for them. And they pretty much eat what we eat for the night. So I don't focus too much on like the canned foods and dog food, dry food, because it's really far and few between that they even eat that stuff. Sometimes it's like filler inside of their bowl, but to know that this is like really, really poor for them, like I said, I really didn't know. So I'm gonna do my research on that. If you guys know anything about rawhide or how it affects dogs or whatever, make sure to leave it in the comments below because I'm super curious. It's not something I've ever heard of before and I'm, but the, somebody always says there's something wrong with everything. So I'm just curious. Um, but then I got them these Dental Life sticks. These are um, like the ones for help with smelly breath and my dog's breath are forever kicking. There's seven chews in each one. So each dog will get a pack of chews. And then I got two of these separate natural choices. Uh, the Dollar Tree had a whole bunch of like, these are soy free, gluten free, wheat free, all natural dog treats. I thought that was really neat. And I got two separate occasions, two separate ones. So these ones are the sticks. And then these ones are chicken wrapped sweet potato biscuits. Like how cute do those look? It's so, so cute. So each of the dogs are getting one of those. And then each of the dogs are also getting a snacker bone, which will be like their big bone that they get on Christmas day. Okay guys, so that's it for my stocking video. I hope I was able to inspire you guys with some ideas if you needed any last minute thoughts on what you can put in your kid's stocking, your husband's stocking, your significant other, your spouse, your pet 
that's what I am here for. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys all so, so much. We are so, so close to Christmas. So if I don't see you guys again before the holiday season, have a wonderful Merry Merry Christmas, a happy holiday, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.